the audacity to ask, is it mine? They, they, they had the audacity to doubt that you love them. You found yourself because of one moment of sin. Found yourself with child. Found yourself in a predicament. And you know, you know, you know in your heart of hearts that you want to get rid of the baby, but your spiritual side won't let you. Your spiritual side says, I'm, I'm going to raise this child if I have to raise him by myself. I'm going to be with this child if I got to be with him by myself. And you find yourself by yourself. But how many of you know you are never alone? My brothers and sisters, just like Hagar, because she had she ran away the first time and the Lord told her to go back. And some 14 years later, come on, talk to me here. 14 years later, she sees Ishmael teasing. Sarah's child. Yeah. <laughs> the names have changed now. Sarah said, oh, oh, she got to go. I don't care what she ain't got to go home. But she got to get up out of here. She, she, <laughs> she oh no, make it for the mother. Where my sisters at? The, the, the sisters are like mother bears, you don't fool. With their children. But can I tell the modern day mother something? Your child is not an angel. Amen. I'm gonna get some calls, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some hate. Your child is a child. Amen. And just like you made mistakes, they don't make mistakes. So don't go to the school with an attitude talking about my child didn't do this, my child, and if you did it, they don't. Amen. Why the teacher can't teach your kids now? You always talking about what your child didn't do. You ain't with your child 24-7. It's not till, I, till they got grown till I find out the stuff that mine did. They still ain't told me everything. And you know what, when they tell me, D, I really can't get upset. Because I did some of the same, same dog bit them, growled at me. So we got to start acting like our children are just so much. Our children are going to make mistakes. So when, so when Israel was making fun of Sarah's child, she said she got to go. I can hear Sarah now, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. So when the child was weaned, they had a big seller, mm-mm, she got to go. Lord, God spoke to Abraham. You could say Abraham was, 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 was turning left and right. He didn't know what to do. And the Lord said, listen to your wife. God has God has a plan for each and every one of us. And are we willing to hear and be obedient to his will? Abraham gets up in the morning, gives her some water, gives her some, some bread, and sends her on her way. Everything that she has is on her back. Is there anybody in the house feel like that today? My whole life is on my back. If I don't go to work, ain't nothing gonna get paid. If I don't try to hang in here, ain't none of us gonna make it. If I don't do this, if I don't do that, if I don't do the other, but don't you know you need to relieve some of that stuff and give it to God? There's some things you cannot do by yourself. 
And sisters, that could be some of the problem of some of our young mothers today. We're trying to do, you're trying to do too much. Yeah. Yeah. On your own. Yeah. Well, Pastor, you don't understand. If I don't do it, ain't nobody going to do it for me. I stop right there. Yeah. The Lord will yeah. make a way. Can I, can I get real for just a second? Because see, you got to understand something. That child may be an accident to you, but he's a blessing to the Lord. Because there are some folk that have been married for years and can't have no children. Now, the act may be sinful, but the gift is God's blessing to you. She's on her own. It was just expository preaching. She's, she's on her own. And after a while, the water 